Alright, just leaving little sh little Laurel shelter. Um got 25 miles to do today. Or actually 23 to get to Hodgeback shelter. And then I'm gonna call the shuttle guy. Come pick me up and take me to Nature's Inn Hostel. So it looks like for the most part today, it's gonna be like a super easy day on my legs. There's only like one incline, but it's nothing like what I've already done in the Smokies and such. So, yeah, kind of excited to just cruise about my day. Don't need to rush or anything. And when I get to Nature's Inn, hopefully I'll be able to post the Smokies trilogy. <laughs> Matt Whiter Cliff Rock. Huh. I don't know. We're gonna keep going though. <laughs> well, I don't really know where I'm at right now, but it's very wild views right now. That's where I came from over there. Let's just look at this. Crazy. So apparently this is big fire scald knob. Nice. Keep going to uh, Hodgeback Shelter, where I'm gonna call this man's up, get a shuttle into a hostel. Here's Howard's Rock. Story of Howard's Rock. Howard McDonald is a legend in the Western North Carolina trail building and maintaining community. Moved to Henderson, North Carolina in 1981. Joined the Carolina Mountain Club soon after your sides. Therefore, he got involved with the trail maintenance crew. 22 years. Wow. Wow. He moved this rock. Or they moved a bunch of rocks out of the way apparently. So it'd be easier to hike. That's crazy. I saw some people doing that yesterday and they gave me some almonds. So yeah, I, re I really respect people who do that. So people have a easier time on the trail because they were working hard yesterday. Well, I'm still on the same mountain. So far, this climb has been super hard. A lot of big rocks. I should have filmed it, but at one point, I, it, it literally looked like a wall of rocks. And it was the path. So don't let, don't let them stop you. But just know that they're there. Right, eating these bull energy chews. When I look down, and there it is. Three motherfucking hundred. I'm taking a picture of that. Holy shit. Feels like just yesterday when I was taking a picture of the 100. Now it's 300. <laughs> I probably said this before, but I really like when the trail op opens up like this. It's really liberating. Um, probably my favorite time so far was on Max's patch. Because that was such a nice view after being in the forest for so long. But I like stuff like this.
These rocks right here. What the fuck? There's some big ass rocks. Speaking about big ass, for some reason I'm coming up on a mountain called Big Butt. <laughs> Don't know why it's called Big Butt. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> big Butt Bypass. <laughs> Well, I'm about like six-ish six miles away from the shelter where the shuttle driver told me to call him and stop for a snack and it started raining and getting cold. So I guess I picked a good night to go to the hostel. <laughs> Pretty cool spot. I just crossed this road here. And there was a sign for another hostel that looked very enticing, but nope. I heard Nature's Inn is nice, so I'm gonna go there. Well, apparently this Laurel Hostel is right here on this road. But I don't know, due to this TV in the water, I don't really want to stay here. Whoa, this is a fucking scary bridge. Okay, let me take this rain jacket off. <laughs> my view off to the left right now got three more miles to the shelter but my feet are definitely taking the toll Some religious stuff but a cool little stone monument well should be half a mile away from the parking lot where I'm eating the shuttle my feet are obliterated and I am very hungry so hopefully this hostel has some food because I'm starving well I made it here to nature's inn uh, I'm in the bunkhouse right now it's actually pretty nice. Uh, these beds are pretty comfortable. <laughs> um, but I'm about to go up to, back up to that, that place right over there. Um, Taft is really nice. This is a good spot. I'm gonna go up and eat some junk food, <laughs> get recharged, and then probably take a bath. And yeah, that sounds pretty good for today. Let me know. 